Hi, I'm Josh Fielstra with Native Instruments, and I'm going to be demonstrating some of the new features that are part of Contact 4. Uh, Contact 4 has just been announced and uh, will be available uh, immediately, effective immediately. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through some of the new features that make Contact 4 uh, both interesting and uh, different from its previous versions. Uh, when focusing on Contact 4, what we're aiming to do is sort of bring sampling technology to the next level. Uh, not just adding more features to contact and salt and peppering it with uh, new features, but actually bringing sample technology as a whole to a new level. And uh, we've done that a number of different ways. Uh, I think the first thing I'll show you is the overall layout, the design of each of these instruments. You notice I've loaded uh, a lead sound here. If you're familiar with previous versions of contact, the very first thing that you'll notice is this, the actual way the instrument looks. This is a performance view. Now, Contact 3 gave you performance views, but in Contact 4, this is a lot more robust. You can see that what we have here is a control panel entirely suited to this particular instrument. Uh, I don't have to edit, I don't have to enter edit mode in order to get hands-on access to things like filter cutoff, for example. <laughs> like resonance. I have two different sounds I can actually mix together using the A and B. I have uh, hands-on access to different convolution reverbs. Let's choose a different room. Speaking of convolution reverbs, we've added a total of 300 new impulse responses to the contact convolution impulse response library. So a total of 300 new ones in addition to the many, many you already had. Uh, now, something that's also new to this performance view, as you can see, is uh, not only do I have access to uh, the sort of things I might be likely to tweak on the synthesizer, but I also have another page that's sort of like global parameters that you can tweak for this particular sound. I can immediately change things like velocity curve. If I want more of an exponential type of curve, uh, I can learn a key range. If I want this particular sound to only go from, say, A to E, I can hit the low key and the high key, and now that sound will only play from A to E. And you'll get this for all instruments inside the contact library. We've redone all of the previous instruments from earlier versions of contact so that they take advantage of these new performance view features. If I, for example, load a different sound, let's take something from, uh, I don't know, how about the band collection. Uh, I'll load the nylon guitar. And when I load the nylon guitar, you'll notice how this gets its own performance view immediately. <laughs> Now this particular performance view, unique to guitar. I have a solo button I can turn on. This will ensure that my playing is always monophonic, no matter which keys I press. And you'll notice I have some guitar specific things, like I can actually uh, tune the tone of the guitar. Uh, I can add a little more release noise. But again, that's specific to this instrument. So all uh, of the instruments inside Contact, a total of 42 gigabytes of instruments uh, samples available inside Contact will all get their own unique individual performance view. And the good thing about Contact 4 is that this is all highly customizable. You can do this yourself. You can make your own uh, performance views with your own custom wallpapers here. You can see this has kind of a wood grain. Uh, so for sound library developers, they'll also find this uh, to be very useful going forward. So a lot of sound libraries are already available for Contact. Uh, you'll see a lot more now and with more robust controls. I'll give you one more example. Uh, let's go to uh, something from the vintage category. Uh, let's, for example, pull a vintage drum machine. I'll pull kind of a classic 808 here. You notice that the 808 has kind of a vintage Moog look to it. So we've got uh, knobs and buttons. that have a kind of Moog look and feel to them. And you notice we also have different kind of panels that I can access here. You can see I can turn the reverb on and off. Right on the same control, the same uh, performance view, uh, I can switch to something like a delay and an equalizer. These are all on the same tab. But as I showed you earlier, I still have access to the global features for this particular sound like velocity and things like that. So that's entirely new to Contact 4, the way things look 
and uh, have a general feel to them. Uh, you can design your own knobs and buttons and things. Well, thank you for uh, taking a look at a few of the features inside Contact 4. Uh, if you have any more detailed questions on Contact or are interested in knowing more, absolutely feel free to contact your Sweetwater sales engineer and they can hook you up with all the information you would like.